Brittany, how, who did you bond with the most on this movie? Probably the girls. How did you become the Stetson man? <laughs> Say that again. Really looking forward to seeing you work it for two hours. <laughs> and God knows I did. You, you would be able to gather a, a super group of people. Part of force of yeah. musicianship. Joel Courtney. Hey, what's up? Okay, you're a rock star now. You've been in a Steven Spielberg, J.J. Abrams film. How do you feel? Super excited, you know. I'm I'm a huge JJ fan. I couldn't be happier to be here right now. There's a rumor that you're going to be in the Transformers movie because Steven Spielberg is working on. It. Is that right? Yeah. Can I? Which one would I be? A Decepticon or a Transformer? <laughs> I'm sticking. I'm holding out for Optimus Prime. Otherwise, nothing. Or oh, I'll just sing the theme, sing the theme song. Transformers. More than meets the eye. You saw the Beatles at the Cavern Club when you were yeah. 16, correct? Right. Tell me about that experience. Well, so you, you can't describe an experience like that. I mean, you have to be the... Tell me about the character Sam. Uh, Sam is a uh, medical student. You broke ground for bands that are that are actually touring with you today. Uh, yeah, that's for sure, and a lot of other bands too. Yeah, it's backwards! It's all backwards, I know. It's set back and back and back. But, but let me just ask you. I know that you have liquid liner on tonight, but what are your must-haves? How do you know that? What are your makeup must-haves and name them? My makeup must-haves? Must have the Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturizer. You, your first movie was with the singer for Rooney. Yes, with, with uh, what's his name now, Robert Carmine. <laughs> and what was it like being with Barbara Streisand, working in that movie with her? Well, it, it wasn't easy. What's it like playing the hero? It's fun, actually. Now, what makes you think that he has what it takes? Oh, I don't know. I was in Dublin. This odd, really quirky, really dark movie came out of this. What was most challenging about it? I think everything. You look at, uh, you know, you look at the scenes we have. Mike, when can, when can we see you work your magic again in the ring? I don't know, maybe in June. God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. It's hard to memorize lines for me. Easy, man. I ate my Wheaties, you know what I'm saying? Now, isn't it weird? Yeah, oh my god, it's been like four years. Yeah. How you felt about the success of the Fergie record? Because you wrote and produced a lot of the songs in there, didn't you? Yeah, I love the Fergie record, it's dope. You are hilarious, dude. Thank you. They love me in Orange County for some reason. They worship you. <laughs> You're a god there. <laughs> Why puppets? We don't even know. It was really... And speaking of catharsis, does Rob Halford consider himself a spiritual person? I think I have, I have definitely have a, have, a, have a foundation where I get my own peace and solitude. What did you think of the Christian anti-rock seminars of the early 80s and, and uh, did they... Did Great publicity for metal. I, okay. Fucking wonderful. I mean, I love them. I was like, oh, great. You know, can we have some more of that, please? Why do you think Slayer has endured the test of time over as long as you've been around? Kids. Did you go to school for writing? I did. Well, I was a drama major at Virginia. Now, what's what's going on with your with your show? There was a rumor that um, Glenn and Doyle actually asked to have a reunion, and that you said no. Uh, well, that's pretty interesting because uh, it, it it was something that could never really occur. Are you but Eric Blair? I am. Are you blaring out at the moment? Yes, I am. This is what's happening to us now. How did being the middle child of two pastors shape you as a person? <laughs> A lot of things. What was it like shooting the cover cup for Cosmo? <laughs> what a strange question. What is next for Metallica? Oh uh, well, we're, we're going to finish uh, our tour. We Either of you ever been to the point where suicide has ever crossed your mind at all? Well, I think it's crossed everybody's mind. And what would you say your message is to the kids? I mean, our message generally is just to always believe in yourself. There's absolutely no one in the world that can tell you that you can't do something. What are your makeup must-haves and name them? Oh, God, the pressure. Do you still think it's glamorous even though it's freezing out here tonight? I think it's totally glamorous. What is going on with Indiana Jones? Are you allowed to talk about it at all? Uh, I can do anything I want. I, uh, we're working on a script. What is your greatest fear? That America will die before my grandchildren are born. Don't dream of women, because they'll only bring you down. Always. Now tell me what, how, how, what, tell me about this, why you wrote that in that song. I was probably breaking up with Wendy at that particular point, mm. probably. And we really loved this man's story, and we wanted him to make it and direct it. How fun was it working on this movie? It was a great time. What was it like working with Ben Kingsley? It's pretty awesome. He's yeah. a, he's a gentleman. How many points do I get for this? Uh, ten. I've got ten points. It was called Sexy Beast. Do you find that you're always learning things still to this day? Oh, you have to, yeah, absolutely. 
the singer is the focal point of the band at this point. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, I guess I do get a lot of attention because I'm a singer, but also because I'm a girl. And Kate, you're so beautiful. Right. Tell me how you're you... You're not bad looking either. Thank you. How'd you get your inspiration for the part of Meredith? Are you, are you kind of talking about the futility of life? I guess it depends on your perspective. How has it changed your life being on American Idol? You know, it's 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 kind of wacky the po the power of television. Did you grow up loving movies like Clueless? Uh, yes, I did. What's one of your favorite lines? Uh, Bobby Brown is one of my favorite lines. I love Nars. What was it like working on this movie? It was a blast. We're in the kitchen. We're cooking. We'll see what we come up with. So what makes you stand out as a rapper? The energy I put into the records. You have the funniest show on TV. No, you do. Rick. No, you do. You are so funny, man. You are recording an album with The Who, correct? We're, we're, we're yes, we're about to take that first step in the studio. Now tell me about your character in this movie. Uh, it's just a down and out comic. Tell me about the time that you played bass on the Striper album Against the Law. Come here, man. Dude, Striper. Striper was hot. I had a, I had a blast. Do you feel like as a child growing up in the 80s that you had more hope for the future than you do now? Mm, well, and this 18-year-old girl kind of jump starts his life. Yeah, that whole encounter is the catalyst. David Hasselhoff, what's happening? What are you working on right now? Uh, I'm working on going in to see the movie and uh, a little Night Rider movie, and I'm um, shooting Adam Sandler's next picture. Now, are you British? Yeah. What part of Britain are you from? Uh, just uh, Cheshire near Liverpool. Eric Blair is one of my favorite interviews to do because he's super friendly, super honest. He asks questions that everyone asks, and it's like having a conversation with somebody. Hey, what's up? You're watching Blaring Out with Eric Blair. I'm Carson Daly. Later.